In my opinion, Equinox Gold is stupid cheap right now. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why I think it's so cheap, but also they have a lot of debt. And after that, I'm gonna talk about whether we need to be worried about that debt they have and how worried should we be. By the way, I'm a shareholder of Equinox. These are my opinions based on my analysis. So don't take any of this as investment advice and always do lots of your own research before investing any of your hard-earned money. Just a few days ago, we got a press release from Equinox saying that they produced 564,500 ounces of gold in 2023, but we don't know the all-in sustaining cost, the AISC, for the entire year. That's what it cost them to produce an ounce of gold. But we do know that for the first three quarters of 2023, it was $1,595. But Equinox is going through a big change right now because they're building the Greenstone mine in Canada. So what this is going to do it's going to increase their production a lot. It's going to add 240,000 ounces of production. But in addition to that, it's going to lower their all-in sustaining cost by quite a bit. And third, it's going to improve their political risk dramatically because right now they have operations in Brazil, they have operations in Mexico, a little tiny mine in California. And this is going to be in Canada, which is considered one of the world's premier jurisdictions. So when you decrease your jurisdictional risk, you increase the multiples you're getting. And in addition to that, number four, it makes it a bigger company. It's getting closer to that million ounce producer mark, which is kind of the limit to be considered a major. And as you approach that number, you should see increased multiples as you go from like a junior producer to a mid-tier to a major. So this Greenstone mine, it cost $1.6 billion to build, and they've been building it for a couple of years now. Now it's totally built, and now they're commissioning it. So now they have to turn on the mine, put some ore in it, run it, test it, and make some changes based on the results, and then do that over and over and over again until they get it operating just the way they want to. So the full commissioning will happen over a series of months. Now, after full commissioning, it's expected to produce 400,000 ounces of gold for the first five years, but Equinox owns 60% of the mine, so their share is 240,000 ounces. And what about cost? How much will it cost to produce an ounce of gold at the Equinox mine? Well, in the 2020 feasibility study, it said that it was going to average $850 an ounce for the all-in sustaining cost. However, there's been inflation since then. So are we going to be producing at that number? I would guess probably not. So let's go through a series of possibilities to figure out what the all-in sustaining cost might be after the Greenstone mine is fully commissioned and in full production. So if they can hit this $850 an ounce number, all-in sustaining costs at Greenstone, they would be producing 804,500 ounces at 1372 all-in sustaining costs, and this would be company-wide. And this was their all-in sustaining costs for their other mines that are already in production. And this number has actually gone down from 2022 to 2023. It dropped by, I think, about $60 or so. So that number is actually trending down. But in today's video, I'm going to assume that this all-in sustaining cost and this production number stays the same, although I do expect this production number to increase and this to improve a little bit because they've been making some improvements to their mines and they had a mine blockade in Mexico for a while. So that one was shut down for a while, which increased costs. But anyway, let's say that the Greenstone mine comes in producing at $1,000 an ounce. Well, that brings the company-wide all-in sustaining cost to $1,417. So what does it look like if we're here? Well, Gold today is a little over $2,000 an ounce. So if the Greenstone mine is producing at $1,000 an ounce, the company would be making approximately $600 per ounce. And here I have the worst case scenario where the Greenstone mine comes in producing at an all-in sustaining of $1,150 an ounce. That brings the company-wide AISC to 1462. So this is a lot of numbers. 
But what does this all mean for the company's profitability? Well, down here, I'm going to show you this. So on the left-hand column here, we have the cost of the Greenstone mine, the all-in sustaining cost. We don't know yet what that number is going to be, but it, the feasibility study said 850. So let's say the average gold price is 1800 and that's company-wide. They're going to be selling their gold for $1,800 an ounce. So that would have to go down quite a bit from where the gold price is at today. This is this is the worst case scenario. Of course, it could go lower than that, but this is the worst case scenario for this example. If gold is $1,800 an ounce and Greenstone comes in producing at $850 an ounce, the company is going to have cash flow of $344 million a year. But like worst case, Greenstone comes in at a high cost, eleven fifty, which would still be their best mine, by the way, uh, because all of their other mines have a higher cost than that. So if Greenstone comes in producing at eleven fifty, and the average gold price is eighteen hundred, well then the company will have cash flow of two hundred and seventy-two million dollars a year, and compared to the market cap today, that is a five point two times cash flow multiplier. So even in the worst case scenario, after Greenstone is fully in production, we have a pretty low cash flow multiplier indicating that the stock is pretty cheap. So now let's say the Greenstone costs come in at $1,000 an ounce and the gold price for 2024 is $2,000 an ounce. They're going to be making $469 million in cash flow per year after the Greenstone mine is in full production. It and it will take a little bit for that to happen, which would put the cash flow multiplier at three times, the company trading at three times future cash flow. Now, let's say we have a pretty high gold price in the coming year, and the average price of gold is $2,500 an ounce, and Greenstone costs come in at the low end of 850. The company would have a cash flow of $907 million a year. So that's a cash flow multiplier based on today's market cap of 1.6. So based on this, and considering Equinox has some of the biggest reserves of any mid-tier gold company out there, well, I think Equinox is very cheap today. However, they have a lot of debt and we have to have to look at the balance sheet and when that debt is going to come due. And also they have some convertible notes so we could see some more dilution as well. So now let's take a look at that and see how big of a risk that dilution is and how big of a risk that debt is. So I expect the upcoming cash flows to be somewhere in this range here. This $2,500 gold is kind of just for fun, just to give you an idea of what it could possibly be, but most likely scenario is somewhere in here. But now let's look at the debt they have and see what kind of cash flows what they will have to pay that upcoming debt. So this is pretty rare to see. They have a revolving credit facility that funds most of their long-term debt. And that has an interest rate anywhere from 7.8% to 9.8%. And that's $692 million. So they're paying a significant chunk in interest every single year that that isn't paid down. So they need to pay that down fast. And then they have convertible notes of $451 million, none of which are in the money right now. And today's closing price was $4.45. But they do have 137 million of those coming due in just three months. And those convert at 525. They're convertible at 525 into shares. So if the share price is below 525, those are out of the money. And the owners of those notes are not going to convert them into shares. However, if the stock price goes above that, well, then they're now in the money and the owners of those will convert them into shares. So since that's only a few months away and the stock price would have to go up 81 cents from today's price to be in the money, we will probably see Equinox have to pay the principal balance on that, which is 137 million. Well, right now in cash and marketable securities, they have 315 million and they do have more than 137 million in cash. So they do have enough cash to pay that in April. So that shouldn't be a problem if the stock price 
is below 525 when those expire. But keep in mind, if the stock price goes above 525, well then those are going to be exercised and we will get some dilution. There will be a share dilution. However, Equinox will receive a bunch of cash from that if they're exercised because the owners of that are going to have to pay $5.25 per share and that cash would help them to pay down this debt. So you have that revolving credit facility of almost 700 million and then you have 451 in convertible notes. You add those together to get the total amount of debt. Everything except this, the 137 million, is considered long-term debt in that it's due more than a year from now. But to get the net debt, you then have to subtract the cash and marketable securities for a net debt of 828 million. Now, when you see that they have debt of 828 million, these multiples over here that we talked about earlier start to make more sense because basically they would have to use that cash flow to pay down debt. And then after we pay down debt, we should see these multiples increase. So considering as of September 30th, they have 192 million in cash, they should easily have enough to pay this upcoming payment of $137 million due in April if the stock price stays below 525. And going forward, should the gold price stay somewhere around where it is, and I, I think 2000 is kind of looking like the new floor, and it's struggling to go under that now. Before that was resistance, and now it seems like it's the floor. So, but going forward, if the gold price stays around there, Equinox should have somewhere between about $450 million and $500 million in annual cash flow compared to the market cap today of $1.3 billion. However, we could potentially see them adding another 71.8 million shares. Currently, there are 313 million shares. However, we could see a potential expansion of shares because there's a few options out. But the big thing is these convertible notes. They could be converted into shares if the stock price of Equinox goes up. Now, these are all out of the money right now. So if the stock price stays where it's at, none of these are going to turn into shares. However, I expect that we will get a significant re-rating in the stock as we decrease the all-in sustaining cost of the company, as we improve its political jurisdiction by a lot, and also we get closer to that million ounce producer mark. But in addition to that, we're going from Equinox spending $1.6 billion to build this greenstone mine to have it generating cash. So now we're not outlaying that money every single quarter, spending lots and lots of money to build that mine. Now it's going to be bringing in cash, which should mean a re-rating in the stock, especially considering how great of a mine it is in one of the world's best jurisdictions, and it's producing a lot of ounces at a really good price. So I think we're going to see a significant re-rating in the stock. And although they do have a lot of debt right now, I don't see it as much of a concern. By the way, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please let me know by clicking that like button and maybe leaving a comment. And next, click on this playlist. It's a series of videos that I've done that are going to make you a better mining stock investor.